UK-based asset manager Henderson Group agrees to acquire Janus Capital Group for about $2.6 billion, and the boards of Henderson and Janus unanimously agree to the all-share merger, which would give the combined group a market capitalization of $6 billion. This may be touted as a merger of equals, but Henderson looks to be the bigger winner in the all-stock deal. To explain why, WSJ Heard on the Street editor Ken Brown joins us. Hi, Ken. Thanks so much for being with us. Hi, Tanya. So it seems like everyone likes this deal, but how much of this is a deal out of desperation? Yeah, no, that's exactly right. So these two companies are active managers. They, they, they have stock pickers and bond pickers, and that's been a dismal place to be for the last few years. Everyone has put money into index funds and passive strategies, and these guys have been hurting. And how much of this has to do with Bill Gross not performing quite up to what expectations were? Right, so Janus, Janus has been a roller coaster company for years, and, you know, They've lost $62 billion in assets since 2009. That's a lot of money. So they bring in Bill Gross as another way to try to boost things, and he just hasn't done it. You know, he's lost some, some money. He hasn't brought the star power they wanted. And so maybe they had played their last trick, and they were looking now to get, get, a, get a deal done. And in this combined deal, what happens to him and what happens to the head of Henderson? Well, it's not clear. Okay, uh, he's yeah. probably going to stay on. It seems like everyone's going to stay on. There's not a lot of overlap between the two companies, which is what makes the deal pretty interesting. So Henderson is mostly European, UK, and Janus is most, almost all their clients are American from the U.S. So that's, that, there should be very little change. And in the deal, does ownership tilt towards Henderson's shareholders? Yeah, Henderson's going to control. Henderson's shareholders will control the company. Okay. I mean, ultimately, it's because Henderson wasn't losing as much money as Janus, so they had a stronger bargaining position, really. I mean, in active management, and in, in asset management in general, it's all about flows and assets. Right. And when you're losing money and your assets are going down, you're not in a great bargaining position. So what is, what is the test of this deal going to be going forward? It's flows. But so they what they need to, to do is bring in money. Yeah. And there's, it's a possibility. First of all, performance is everything. So if they can perform, they should bring in money. But also, you know, the, the Henderson funds can be now be sold to Janus clients in the U.S. and vice versa. So there'll they'll be synergies in terms of sales, and that, that should benefit them. And have the clients of both Janus and Henderson said, hey, we like this? The clients don't get to vote in they this. They don't get to vote um, You know, you're, you're a Janus shareholder in some fund, and, you know, you, you will, you'll be there. The funds, the funds, in theory, can vote and say, well, we're going to leave this company because funds are independent, but that'll never happen. Right, right. So the shareholders either go along for the ride or they sell their funds. Right. Now, Henderson has been known for taking over some weaker rivals before. Janus isn't really in this category, but this is a pattern. Yeah, Henderson has shown to be a pretty savvy acquirer. Um, this is a different deal. They had been acquiring sort of some of the beat-up asset managers in Europe. Um, this is a much bigger deal. Um, it, it's a good test for them to see if this strategy works. I mean, likely what you're going to see is more consolidation in this space. So typically, there's a lot, a lot of asset managers all over the place. And typically, they had been bought by insurance companies and banks and such like that, and that hasn't been happening. What we're probably going to see, and this may be the first in a wave, is some bigger deals among some of the larger asset managers around the world, the active players. Asset management is a huge scale business. If you add assets, your costs don't go right. up that much. So Better you want to get bigger. Better consolidate. Yeah. Exactly. Now, in this case, do regulators need to weigh in? Is this a done deal? Uh, probably not. There's so much competition in this space. Um, I, you know, the regulators will matter uh, in the sense of, you know, these, they'll fall under the, reg, the new regula regulatory regime. Yeah. I mean, in terms of regulation, one interesting thing is Henderson has gotten really hit hard by Brexit because they're a British company and they're a financial company. And so their ability to do business in Europe was questioned. So that's one reason their share price has gone down. So it's interesting that they're pivoting to the U.S. Absolutely. They're expanding into the U.S. All right. Thank you so much, Ken, for thank that. Thank you. Thanks.